take three. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to talk about adding a counterweight to my ZWO AM5 mount. Hi, I'm Bill and welcome to the channel. If you saw my recent video titled, It's Time to Say Goodbye, you know that I've decided to put my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro up for sale. I'll put a link to that uh, listing that's up on Cloudy Nights if you're interested. The weight of that mount is no longer a good fit with the intermittent back problems that I'm having, so I've decided to no longer use it. So my AM5 is going to be guiding my Edge HD8 at least over the winter galaxy months until I make a decision on which uh, mount I might like to purchase as a replacement for the uh, EQ uh, 6R Pro. And I want to give a shout out to Johnny Bravo. Thank you for putting me onto that iOptron uh, harmonic uh, drive mount. Uh, I'll take a look at it and make it uh, part of my research. research. So uh, thank you, Johnny, for, uh, for that heads up. So I've done some testing running my Edge HD8 on this AM5. The testing went well, and I did that testing without a counterweight. And then I purchased a counterweight bar and uh, used one of my uh, counterweights from my EQ6R Pro, but since I'm no longer using it, I don't want to use those counterweights because I want to keep them in the box and, and not put any more use on them. Uh, so I purchased this bar and this bar weighs about 1.3 ounces and I got it from, I'm pretty sure I got it from Agena and I want to give a shout out to Agena. Astro, anytime I order some from them, it seems like they're really quick at getting it out the door. Um, so, okay, so I had this part, and um, but I needed a counterweight. And so, again, I went to a Gina Astro, and within like three days, this shows up at my door. Now, this here, uh, I'm going to read it so I give you the correct specs, is the Ioptron 4.5 kilogram slash 10 pound counterweight with a 20 millimeter borehole. And I think that might be important uh, because this uh, bar I think is uh, just slightly under 20 millimeters at 19 point something. So um, I'll uh, put this uh, name of this counterweight in the video description if you're interested. Uh, I got it off of a uh, posting on Cloudy Nights and um, said, okay, let me, uh, let me go ahead and uh, give it a shot. So let's uh, put this on here. Now, where I set this counterweight on the uh, bar, um, I don't know yet. It'll be some uh, trial and error, and then I put the locking uh, bolt back on. Uh, for that. So um, this is going to be the configuration when I run the Edge HD8. Now my Edge HD8 is only 23.5 pounds. It's within the specification of this uh, model of the AM5, uh, which um, I think it could go up to maybe uh, 25 or something, I'm not sure, but I, I thought I was just under the specification to be able to run without uh, a counterweight. But I tend to be conservative and I said, hey, you know, for a few dollars, um, especially where I, I'm a traveler and I image oftentimes in the desert and the winds come up without notice, and I really don't want to take any risk of a wind uh, uh, blowing over uh, the, the mount. Uh, I had that happen with my HEQ5, and that's how I actually wound up buying the AM5, but that's a whole different story. I got a video up on it if you're interested. So uh, this is the way 
I'm going to go when I was doing, uh, again, my testing. I had sandbags uh, down low to try to bring the uh, center of gravity down. So I just wanted to uh, let you know what I'm doing here. I'm going to run with one mount for a while. That's why I don't want to be in a hurry. I do know that ZWO has the AM5N model. It's a newer model. I think it can handle a payload up to 33 pounds without a counterweight and maybe total payload of 44 pounds uh, with a counterweight. Uh, but again, me being conservative, I figured, hey, you know, the, the cost of this bar and uh, this weight was around $100 and I thought it was good insurance. So I went ahead and did it rather than try to um, run without it. Uh, so I'll put a information in the video description. I don't really have a link. Uh, I can highly recommend a Gina Astro if uh, they uh, support whatever country you might be in. And uh, very fast delivery, consistently fast delivery, and they generally have what I'm looking for when it's on stock. So shout out to Astro, uh, a Gina Astro. All right. Uh, can't wait to get this in the field with the Edge HD 8 on it and I'll give you an update once I get it in full production uh, for several nights of imaging to let you know what I'm seeing up to now. The testing has been an hour here, an hour there in my backyard and really my backyard is not uh, the best uh, test environment. Uh, I really want to get the, the mount and the Edge HD 8 out under darker skies and uh, see how it performs. I expect it to perform well based upon my testing under Bortle 8 skies. So, all right, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'm going to be looking to identify someone that's into planetary. I know nothing about it. And one of the uh, viewers left a question for me about what is a good starting setup for planetary. I have no idea. So I would love if you're into planetary and willing to do uh, Google Meet and we can record it, um, then I'd like to be able to provide that information to the person that posed the question. Uh, other than that, clear skies.